of all the phones. Um, you just realize, and I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not an NBA star public figure, but I'm somewhere between that and a local mayor or something, you know? <laughs> and uh, you know when you're out, I have become very aware of phones and cameras. And if I'm out at a restaurant and have a glass of wine and somebody comes up to me, the first thing I look for is do they have a camera? You know if they have a camera. I don't want something out that embarrasses my company or my family. So I, I do my partying at home, and if I go out, I'm very aware of cameras. Um, so Steph Curry was mocking LeBron James at a wedding this weekend, and Kyrie Irving, who says he wants to be traded away from Cleveland, was also at this event and was also appeared to be laughing and mocking LeBron James. This was not a secret camera. They both knew this would get out. They're both doing this on purpose. It's one thing to give a friend, even an enemy, the business. It's another to know that it will go viral. And they were performing for a camera at an NBA wedding where there's a bunch of stars and a bunch of cameras. This is Kyrie Irving telling Cleveland, I want to be traded now. This is walking around town with your mistress before you get the divorce. This is putting gas on the fire, amplifying an already tense situation. Kyrie, six, seven days ago, also trolled LeBron, I'm coming home on a plane. This is not subtle. It's not by mistake. Kyrie is now taken to an aggressive stance. He is telling the city of Cleveland. He is telling LeBron. He is telling Dan Gilbert, I want out and I want now. Now, I think this is a big mistake. I don't think he'll ever play with a player nearly as good as LeBron, and I don't think he'll ever have such a guaranteed trip to the finals. But what this is really doing is putting Dan Gilbert, the city, the franchise, LeBron in a real tight spot because the best deal they can make with Kyrie is with Minnesota, Jeff Teague and Andrew Wiggins, and you can't do that until December just because the way Teague came over. So Kyrie is making the kind of public opinions, trolling, phone messaging that he wants out now. And he's not just taunting LeBron. Watch this video. This is messaging. This isn't just a good time. They want it to land. And let me then segue into how I think LeBron is taking it. I don't know if you've noticed this. I have. And if you pay attention, I think some of you probably have. The last couple of years, you can sense it. The NBA against LeBron. Have you noticed it? Pat Riley took shots at LeBron. Phil Jackson took shots at LeBron. Golden State recruited KD to beat LeBron. Golden State's trolled LeBron. The media won't put LeBron in the top three of the MVP. And now Kyrie Irving is trolling LeBron. Tom Brady and LeBron are very similar. It seems like they've been dominating for like 10 to 15 years. But Brady is still beloved by rival players. They want to beat him, but there's an amazing respect. Right now, LeBron, and it is a sign of respect, but this is another reason I think LeBron and the Lakers can happen. Do you think LeBron James isn't noticing and feeling what I'm talking about? He's being trolled by teammates, trolled by rivals, media not top three, Golden State recruiting to beat him, Pat Riley in on him, Phil Jackson in on him. Okay, you think, you think LeBron's just going to sit back and take this? And LeBron's going to be okay with it? And he's going to sit in Cleveland with that old roster and that owner, frankly, he doesn't really like. And he's just going to keep taking these shots after shot after shot. It's not the way the king works. It's not the way the king works in a parliament. It's not the way the king works in sports. You keep poking the bear, poking the bear, taunting the bear off the MVP list. Phil Jackson, Pat Riley, trolling Steph, trolling Warriors, Kyrie trolling. Never forget. You start taunting him in Cleveland. Remember that? Can't beat the Celtics. Bye-bye, left for Miami. You thought that run was over in Miami. Boo-hoo, LeBron. 
back to Cleveland. You're trolling LeBron. The league is. The media is. You're, you know, LeBron made a point last year in the middle of the season when stars started missing games. And do you remember what LeBron said? LeBron said, San Antonio guys have been missing games for five years. This is not a guy's missing games. This is me missing games. The league's coming down on me. And LeBron made the point. NBA guys have been missing games for years. San Antonio started this stuff. The minute I sit out of TV games, LeBron James, you make it an issue. LeBron's sitting there. He feels the league's on him. Kyrie's on him. Steph's on him. Media's on him. Pat Riley's on him. Phil Jackson's on him. Punch, punch, troll, troll, punch, punch. The king does not sit there and take these punches long. LeBron's going to Los Angeles. It's going to be his final act. He is not going to sit with that Cleveland roster. You know it and I know it. It's not that way with Tom Brady. Tom Brady is still celebrated even by rivals. Oh, yeah, there was deflate gate, but we're over that now. This has been like a two-year run. Those stars sitting out of games, I want the stars sitting out of game issue. That was LeBron sitting out of games. We don't like it. He believes he's held to a higher standard. And this is why Michael Jordan got Doug Collins fired and Phil Jackson hired. Is that Michael Jordan felt that Doug Collins held him to a different standard. And that he would jerry-rig games in practice so Michael Jordan would lose. And finally, Michael said, time out. You're punishing me for being the best player in the world? LeBron's sitting there thinking, so I'm getting punished for carrying this league for 12 years. If LeBron James never existed, you know who would have been the reigning dynasty? The yawn fest known as the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, the league owes LeBron a thank you. Kyrie does. The Warriors do. And they keep trolling him. He's not going to sit there and keep taking it. All right, good to have you in on a Monday. We have, I'm so excited for today. Uh, we go to um, Raiders training camp. We've been doing this all week in the herd. We're going to Raiders training camp today. Coach Jack Del Rio is going to join us. We're going to Cowboys training camp. Peter King 